What is going on, my dudes and dudettes? Is showing you that's now Serpentarium. Um, I'm chilling with this spotted python girl right now. She's looking chunky. She's really starting to fill out and mature out. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with how things are going with her. Um, obviously, guys, you've all uh, you've all heard about the coronavirus and uh, what's been going on. Um, it's spreading like wildfire. And I thought I'd just make a quick video to uh, to discuss whether or not the coronavirus can actually be spread to snakes. Um, and the simple answer is, guys, uh, we do not know. Um, the likely origin of the virus is from an animal. A snake is a contender uh, for one of those animals that it may, may have came across came from originally so there is a chance even if it didn't come from a snake originally there is still a chance that it can be passed on to snakes um, and other reptiles so um, with that in mind what do you do if you're showing symptoms or if, if, if you think you've been exposed um, what do you do with your animals well the simple answer is guys um, there is no simple answer basically the easiest way to avoid your animals possibly getting them even if they can't get them it's just nice to you know have that little buffer because we don't know how harmful they potentially be to animals um, it might just be nothing at all but it might be you know serious so probably if you show any symptoms or if you get exposed to the virus at all um, I would minimize contact with your animals to start okay um no hanging out in the room whenever they are um no holding them or anything like that um i'd probably even suggest skipping feeding them to be honest um it's not gonna hurt for two weeks uh just to make sure you you're clear it's not it's really not gonna hurt um then so all you've got to do then is sort of uh wash your hands um go in there make sure they've got water and then that's it you literally check and if they've got water they have or they haven't uh, and then leave and um, give it a little spray as well with uh like in the water you want to put a bit a little bit of f10 in there just to make sure that uh that everything's fine um and just do light spot cleaning i would not recommend touching your snake or breathing near it um much at all uh, i wouldn't say face masks are worth wearing guys because from what i've uh what i understand they're complete rubbish um you could wear leather gloves uh, i see a lot of people do that anyway in the hobby but that's up to you um clean hands is a must if you think you've got it um and uh just just try to be safe look after yourself as we know at the moment um it only tends to be people that are already unwell or elderly that seem to be dying um i've seen stats the show in china um, most of the people that have died have been over 70 and they've been men the smoke so that's that's quite interesting i'm wondering um when it gets into the western world how it'll how it'll affect people that are overweight um because that obviously you know affects your old um your lung capacity and stuff as well um so we'll we'll see how it goes but for now guys just uh stay safe track on as as normal but if you do get it make sure you take these precautions and uh hopefully everything will go well you'll probably be fine i'm assuming you're uh fit and healthy but if you're not just look after yourself get yourself to hospital get yourself checked um, and try not to spread it to anyone else in the meantime but uh, thanks for tuning in guys and uh, and listening to this little message i hope you've enjoyed um if you're new around here make sure you do subscribe and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys bye